Some people think that Germans overdo it with the waste separation. Others find it exemplary. So what is the situation with waste in Germany? As long as there have been people, there has been garbage. When hunter-gatherers sat together to eat, shells and seed were thrown to one side and most of what was used back then rotted away. However, old fireplaces are occasionally found that have survived and show that people knew how to make fire almost 800,000 years ago. But similar to hunting and gathering, people followed the animals or the fruit and left the garbage behind. Fallen grains at old resting places, which then grew, were probably also the origin of agriculture. As soon as humans became sedentary, waste could become a problem. After all, people no longer moved away from what they've left behind. And the more people lived in one place, the more problems there were. Uruk in Mesopotamia already had a sewer system and the ancient sewer system of Rome is world famous. The Maya in South America also built landfills and archaeologists researching the European Middle Ages see waste pits as real treasure troves. Of course, waste was different back then and was the value of waste. Homer's Odyssey already speaks of a fragrant pile of dung that the farm had spread over the fields. Human excrement was the only form of fertilizer until well after Middle Ages and urine was also used by various craftsmen, for example, for tanning leather. And when something broke, people looked for ways to use it again. Old horn needles have been found that have been shortened and used a second time because they were previously broken. Bones were used to make glue or buttons. The first paper was made from old rags. And if the pot did break and could not be repaired and was not used for new clay, then it was thrown into the garbage pit, which is why we have such finds today. So recycling is very old. Even the stones from old castles were often reused to build new houses. In the past, there was hardly any waste that was not used or that could be dangerous. This changed fundamentally with industrialization. Instead of rags, paper could be made from wood and instead of value manual labor, more and more things were mass produced. Layers, acids and new chemical compounds were often used for this purpose which were then simply poured into the river or the ground with the waste water. Rubber was made from caoutchouc. The use of crude oil could pollute the environment and poison drinking water and when turned into plastic it could no longer be broken down. That was about 70 years ago. Landfills were the evolution of garbage pits. Outside city garbage was piled up in large heaps and then buried underground. In some countries people even live on these landfills and look for usable leftovers. I'm not aware of this in Germany. There are landfills in Germany too, but the number has been fallen for years. Household waste is no longer allowed to go to landfills untreated, but only if it has been incinerated. But what is household waste in Germany and how is it separated? Separation can vary somewhat from municipality to municipality and federal state to federal state. My Mary Messy family shows an extreme example, even for me, in the way and extent to which waste is separated. But then there's PE plastic and plastic bottles with jam and spaghetti sauce and it uh i've tried this one I have brown glass because you swedish invention you know vice vice blech something like that butter, butter wrapping top some my quark little candy wrappers sometimes you get takeout in tin business all the different packaging we've gotten especially that's what we call them in english i'm not sure which but they're little tiny pieces of styrofoam earlier today jewel waste just our uh rest mull but what is about average? Usable old cloth and shoes 
go to the old cloth collection. There are collection containers run by aid organizations or church communities, which often pass on wearable clothing and shoes to people in need at home or abroad. However, there are also commercial recyclers where racks can often be handed in. What is no longer wearable is just shredded and recycled elsewhere, for example, into new cleaning racks. As Justin Banks says here, these containers are usually very easy to access, like near stores or in parking lots. Water containers, as well as used clothes containers, are in very public, heavily foot traffic areas, either at a grocery store or close to a school somewhere where you put the glass containers. It's always in a very heavily uh, populated area, so it's not very far. Um, there are also often used glass containers nearby. A distinction is made between white glass, brown glass and green glass. However, this only applies for glass from bottles or tins or gem jars. In other words, all glass packing for food. White glass, like colorless bottles, is classified as white glass. Brown bottles as brown glass and all other colors as green glass, including blue or red bottles. Window glass and drinking glasses go into household waste. Depending on the region, paper from newspapers, books or cardboard boxes is placed in the waste paper containers. Or there are blue garbage cans at the house. The paper you typically write on or cardboard packaging is disposed of and recycled here. It is important that the paper is dry and not too dirty with oil or glue. If you have a garden, you can put your food scraps or green waste in your own compost to make fresh humus that can be decomposed goes in here. In contrast to home compost, the peel of citrus fruits can also be put in the garbage can. In the small home compost, the pesticides on such fruit can sometimes hinder the decomposition process, but this is not the case in the large composting facilities. Whether coffee filters or tea bags, bones or peeling, everything goes into the green garbage can. The peeling of leeks, carrots or onions can be boiled beforehand to make a broth. So don't throw them away, boil them first. Then we have the yellow bag or yellow garbage can. In 1990, the law came into force that light white packaging had to be separated from residual waste. The manufacturers were responsible for ensuring that less packaging waste was produced. To this end, manufacturers had to bear the disposal and sorting costs. Initially, the green dot, der grüne Punkt, was a symbol of the dual system in Germany, duales System Deutschland. Also, the manufacturers bore the costs, they passed them on to the customer. It has hardly contributed to minimize packaging. The recycling rate is also controversial. More than 90% of tin plate from drinks or food cans is recycled, 60% of aluminium and only 43% of plastic, with around 44% of the contents of a yellow bag being incinerated. This is euphemistically called thermal recycling. In fact, there are major problems with the recycling of plastic, as these are often not pure but different plastics are used together. The yellow bag cans are also often not filled correctly. But typically every waste disposal company or local authority provides information on what needs to be disposed of and how. So cans, tetra packs, aluminium foil or plastic packaging and polystyrene go in here. What accumulates in normal household then goes into the residual waste. That's not so much and you have to pay for this waste. The garbage cans for paper, green waste or the yellow garbage can are free, but you have to pay for the grey garbage can. So if you're really strict, you separate the plastic window from the paper bag and put one into the yellow garbage can and the other in the paper bin with the remaining breadcrumbs naturally going into organic waste. But a few things don't go into grey garbage can either. If we now come to batteries or rechargeable batteries or devices with built-in batteries, even these greeting cards or fluorescent tubes or energy-saving lamps, then we are dealing with hazardous waste. 
Many supermarkets often have collection boxes for batteries and rechargeable batteries. Motor oil or some paints or vanishes can also be hazardous waste. This is often handed in at the municipal recycling center. Larger items such as broken furniture or electrical appliances are disposed of with bulky waste or can also be handled in a recycling center. Small electrical appliances must also be taken back by stores that sell these appliances themselves. This also depends on the sales area. If the items are not broken but just old and you want to change, you can also sell them. Flea markets or second-hand stores as well as classified ads are a good way to sell or buy old things cheaply. Sometimes there are all those things on the side of the road marked to give away, zu verschenke. Then you can take them with you. Deposit bottles, whether one-way or returnable, should of course not be thrown away unless the glass bottles are broken, in which case they should be disposed into the waste glass. And if you don't feel like taking the empty deposit bottles home or back to the store, deposit belongs next to the garbage can. I hope that you always separate them correctly, then it will also work with attentive neighbors. Some incorrect filled garbage cans are simply left behind. Thank you for your attention, see you in the next video.